your Friday workout weeks three and four. Four additional moves. Focus on thighs, on hips, shoulders, and arms. Challenge yourself to continue to make a change. All right, let's start with a quick warm up to get your heart rate up and get your muscles warm. We'll start with 15 jumping jacks. Ready? Let's go. Take it out and in. Now, want to take a nice wide jump and land really light. We've got 10 more. Keep that energy up and keep your breath going. You're down to five and four, three more. Last two, last one, good. Feet come wide, we take the hands behind the head, 10 prisoner squats. Take the hips back and down and up. Now as you're doing this, the toes and knees wanna be in the same line and you wanna feel that belly button drawing in toward the spine. We're halfway there, last five. Keep the chest lifted, four more. Good, three, keep going low, two. Last one, take it down and up. Now we end with some push-ups. Eight of them. Take the hands a little bit wider than the shoulders and you take it down and up. Feel the belly button drawing in toward the spine and the spine in one line. So the hips are not coming up and they are not dropping down low. Last one, you got it. Bring it up and we're ready to start our workout. The elbows out dumbbell row. We want to bring the elbows up to the side and then straight back down. Palms are facing behind you, squeezing at the top and lowering down. You want to engage the whole upper back and then slowly lower, controlling the weight on the way up and on the way down. One more time, bring it up and lowering down. You're going to complete all of those reps, 10 reps in total, with great form. That's your elbows out dumbbell row. This is your incline dumbbell bench press. We start with the bench at about 15 to 30 degrees. Laying down, we take the arms up overhead, palms face away. We want to slowly lower down so the elbows come in alignment with the shoulders and then push straight back up to the ceiling. Controlling the movement, not only on the way down, but on the way up. You want to make this slow so you're feeling every inch. Make sure you're not bringing any sort of stress or strain into the back of the neck or the face or the jaw. Leave that all for the arms and for your core. Bring it all the way down nice and slow and all the way up. Make sure that you finish out your reps with great form. That's your incline dumbbell bench press. The squat thrusts. Bring the hands down by the feet, jump back, land lightly. Pull it in, use your core, and stand all the way up. Again, keeping the hands right underneath your shoulders so you have a nice, strong base and alignment. Jumping back, pulling it in, and standing all the way up. We'll repeat that eight times, the squat thrusts. The single arm dumbbell swing. We start with the dumbbell in one hand right at your waist. Swing down, take the hips low, and then swing it up to chest tight. You wanna use power through your legs, push through both feet evenly, and utilize your core muscles. You repeat this eight times with one hand, switch hands eight times on the other side. The single arm dumbbell swing. The dumbbell squat. Start with your arms down next to your side, palms facing each other. Take the hips back and low, and then stand all the way up. As you're coming down, keep your core tight and tend the hips back as far as you can so we're not sitting forward into the knees. Also want to keep the chest up. Very nice alignment. Good. Down and up, taking it all the way back and up. You repeat as many of these as you can for 20 seconds. The dumbbell squat. The single arm dumbbell swing. We start with the dumbbell in one hand right at your waist. Swing down, take the hips low, and then swing it up to chest tight. You want to use power through your legs, push through both feet evenly, and utilize your core muscles. You repeat this eight times with one hand, switch hands eight times on the other side. The single arm dumbbell swing. The hammer curl to press. Start with the arms down, palms face each other. We bring it up, press all the way up, and then back to your start position. We want to maintain alignment with the elbows and the shoulders in one line. Good. We keep the belly button in and the rest of the body pretty still so all the movement is happening in the upper half of the body. All the way up and all the way back to start. You repeat as many of these as you can within 20 seconds. The hammer curl to press. The single arm dumbbell swing. We start with the dumbbell in one hand right at your waist. Swing down, take the hips low and then swing it up to chest tight. You want to use power through your legs, push through both feet evenly, and utilize your core muscles. You repeat this eight times with one hand, switch hands eight times on the other side.
the single arm dumbbell swing.